Okay, we've gone ahead and we've gotten the frame painted up. Um, what we used was uh, polyscale uh, aged concrete. Uh, it's just a good basic paint that we used on it, and I used an airbrush to apply it on. Uh, and then uh, it worked out quite well. It's all dry. Uh, I did not paint the back because we will have some stuff to glue to the back, so we don't want to have anything on there yet, and it's not going to not going to be the same color as we used right here. So now we just need to cut some sheets of um, some styrene to uh, go across, fill into the back, and for that we'll just use some 0 .010 thick styrene, and we're going to cut it <coughs> so it is um, 15 feet by uh, 31 and a half feet. So we'll go ahead and cut it to uh, to its height. Just make a little tick mark at 15 feet on both sides. Okay, once we have that, we'll go ahead and put our stainless steel ruler across it. I usually put mine upside down. I like it like that. And go ahead and cut it. You just first you score it just gently with your blade. Make sure it's a sharp knife. And then you can give it some pressure. And it'll just snap off once it's good and through. Then to length, um, we're going to be cutting it to a length of uh, 31 and a half feet, scale feet. And that way we can just go ahead and just mark one side. Move the frame out of the way. And bring the chopper into position. We can line it up. And just cut it with the chopper. And just do a quick dry fit. Make sure our dimensions are good. And we are good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get that applied to the front, and then we will get the sign cut out, and then we'll begin on the, uh, the back side. Go ahead. Okay, we've gone ahead and we've gotten the back glued on to the frame. Next, we're going to go ahead and add our billboard um, into it, and um, what we're going to use for that is Elmer's Thick Sol. It's a really good glue, uh, kind of the consistency of like rubber cement. Um, what I'll do Take a good old trusty stack of post-it notepads. And just squeeze, you know, a healthy amount onto there. And then uh, using a po or <coughs> excuse me, a toothpick, go ahead and pick some up. And then we'll just run just a decent amount, a good coat on the back of our frame. Or excuse me, our billboard. Stuff can be messy if you're not careful with it, so. But it does clean up very easily. Okay, it looks like that'll be good. A little extra on my fingers off. Now, it took a few tries with cutting out the, uh, the billboard picture out to get it so it'll fit perfect. And if it's a little too small, it's okay. We're going to be doing something to fix it, so you can kind of disguise that. And then also, if you notice, there's a white border on the billboard itself. Um, it's very common in this era that we're modeling, which is kind of your, your post-war era, and maybe even before then they did it too. But there's a, a white border around, and a lot of times I've noticed it's wider on the sides than it is on the top and the bottom. We'll just make sure that's good and secure. And it takes a long time for this glue to fully cure, but um, it sticks almost immediately, so it gives you a lot of time to play with it and work it if you need to, if, uh, if it's not centered and immediately. So give Okay, now we're going to add just a thin little strip that just kind of goes along the inside of the frame. And what we're going to use is uh, some 0.010 by 0.040 inch uh, strip styrene. And on the prototype, it's colored kind of a light gray. So what I'm going to use is a DNH gray polyscale 
You don't need to use this exact gray. You can use whatever gray you want. That's just as long as it's lighter. And we're going to go ahead and pre-paint the strip since it's going to be virtually impossible to paint it once it's in there. So as long as it's pre-painted, um, it'll make it really easy and get a good crisp line. Um, all you really need to do is paint one face and then at least one of the sides. We'll probably do both just so we've got a little play with. And again, using post-it notes, which are great to, to, to paint on or to glue on, and then you just peel off and throw away that top note once you're done. Okay, our uh, strip is now dry, and we're going to go ahead and cut them. Um, the pieces for the top and the bottom are just slightly over two and an eighth inches. So we'll go ahead and cut the first piece and see how we did. Hopefully we are over, not under. Now it looks like we're actually close. We are actually dead on. Not bad. Okay, we don't want to use the plastic cement on here because all it's going to do is just cause some issues with the um, with the paint, and we don't want that to happen. And it can also leak onto the picture and give us some problems as well. So what we'll probably do is end up using the stick saw to fit inside of there. And then we'll go ahead and cut another piece to go across the bottom. And then uh, we'll get a piece on each side right here. So let me go ahead and get the next bottom piece cut. So alright, I've gone ahead and gotten the strips glued in the top and on the bottom of the frame. Um, now we're going to go ahead and get the side pieces in. I needed to get the top and the bottom in first so I could measure out to see about the size of the, the sides. Um, it looks like it's just barely over an inch. So we'll just go barely, barely, barely over. Lock that in. Go ahead and cut. The tweezers are going to fight with me. We'll do a quick dry fit. Perfect. Okay, we'll go ahead and get the other one cut now. And then I've already got my trusty post it right here with some sticks all on it. Get some glue on this, just just a little bit. You do not need a lot on these pieces. And actually, I'm going to hold that with tweezers so I've got somewhere to grab it and place it with. Just need a gentle mount. Actually bent it a little bit. It's all right. We'll get it in. Just use a little pressure on that to hold that in. Um, my hand's probably blocking everything here. I apologize. Okay. Looks like that's gonna set. We'll go ahead and get the other side glued in, and then uh, we'll move on.